You ever feel like you're doing everything right, you're strong, mysterious, even have a killer look and still, people forget you exist? Yeah! That's Neptune! The forgotten middle child of the solar system. Pluto gets sympathy for being kicked out. Jupiter gets all the love for being the big guy. Mars is the fan favorite. Saturn has the rings and Earth. Well, you're standing on it. But Neptune? Neptune gets ghosted harder than your high school crush after prom. Today, we're going to give Neptune its overdue moment in the sun. Metaphorically, of course, because literally, the sun's rays barely reach it. We'll explore why Neptune has it so rough from killer storms and methane farts to clingy moons and interplanetary neglect. And along the way, I'll share a personal story where I basically was Neptune. So grab your space snacks and let's dive into the swirling blue sadness that is the eighth planet from the sun. Let's start with the obvious. Neptune is cold. And I don't mean wear a hoodie cold. I mean minus 373 degree Fahrenheit cold. That's just a hair away from absolute zero. The temperature where atoms give up and stop moving. Neptune is so far from the sun that sunlight takes four hours to reach it. Four hours! You could binge watch a whole season of your favorite show while Neptune is just catching a little bit of that weak solar glow. It's like living in Antarctica, in the dark, during a blizzard with no Wi-Fi, no pizza delivery, and the sun shows up four hours late with decaf. If you think Florida weather is unpredictable, wait until you meet Neptune. This planet has the fastest winds in the solar system clocking in at over 1,300 miles per hour. That's faster than a fighter jet. Faster than your dad's reaction when you said you wanted to be a YouTuber instead of a doctor. These winds create giant, Earth-sized storms that just swirl around like cosmic tantrums. They don't last for hours, they can last for years. Imagine your worst Monday ever, never-ending. And just to pile on the pain, it rains diamonds. That sounds fancy, right? Except you'll be crushed by atmospheric pressure before you can even consider starting a side hustle mining them. Let's talk about the sun. Ah, the sun. That bright, warm, lovely thing that gives life to everyone else in the solar system except Neptune. Neptune gets only one slash nine hundredth of the sunlight that Earth does. That's so little! Neptune might as well be sitting in the dark with the lights off, pretending it's okay. Imagine being that kid in the group project who's put in the farthest corner of the classroom trying to get some attention from the teacher, but the teacher's just not looking. It's like Neptune's waving its hands around shouting, Hey, can I get some wav over here? And the sun is just too busy to notice. Seriously, Neptune could use a little vitamin D, but nope. It's stuck out there trying to make it work with what little sunlight it gets. I bet Neptune's thinking, what did I do to deserve this? Well, Neptune, I'll tell you it was born a little too far away from the cool crowd. Do you know how many space missions have visited Neptune? One. Just one. Voyager 2 did a flyby in 1989. It took a few blurry pictures, waved politely, and then left. That was it. Neptune got five hours of attention and hasn't heard from anyone since. Mars gets rovers. Saturn got Cassini. Heck, even asteroids give missions now. Neptune? Still waiting for a second date. NASA-like, we're gonna circle back to that for 35 years. Neptune's the Tinder match that you ghosted because the profile didn't load fast enough. Neptune has 14 moons. 14! You'd think that'd make it the cool kid, right? But none of Neptune's moons are Instagram famous. Not one. Triton is the biggest, and guess what? It orbits backwards. Like, not even with the other moons. Just out there doing its own thing. It's basically the black sheep of the moon family. Scientists believe Triton is a kidnapped object from the Kuiper Belt, which makes it the space version of adopting a wild child and hoping it fits in. Triton's not staying forever. Eventually, it'll crash into Neptune or break apart and form a ring, which is either a breakup or an engagement. Either way, it's complicated. 
Let's talk about Neptune's atmosphere. It's mostly hydrogen, helium, and methane. That blue color we all love? That's thanks to methane, the same gas that makes cow farts bad for the environment. So yes, Neptune is basically a giant, cold, spinning ball of fart-colored sadness. And before you laugh, <laughs> methane's serious stuff. On Neptune, it doesn't just stink. It helps create ice clouds, lightning, and superstorms that make Earth's hurricanes look like a splash in a kiddie pool. Here's the kicker. You can't even stand on Neptune. It doesn't have a solid surface. You just fall forever through clouds, gas, maybe a liquid ocean of weird chemicals, and then get squished like a soda can by crushing pressure. Even the core which might be solid is under millions of atmospheres of pressure. You wouldn't reach it unless you were made of adamantium. And even then you'd probably cry. Neptune is like a bottomless pit but colder, gassier, and way more judgmental. You know how it feels to be picked last in gym class? That's Neptune every single time. It's the eighth planet, dead last. And it only became the last again because poor Pluto got booted. Before that, Neptune wasn't even the favored underdog. It was just the second forgotten gas giant. People forget its name, mix it up with Uranus, stop giggling, <laughs> and sometimes even skip it entirely when naming the planets. If Neptune had a yearbook photo, it'd be in the back with a caption that says, also pictured, Neptune. Okay, time for a real talk moment. My personal Neptune moment. Back in high school, I was part of this group project on the solar system. Everyone picked cool planets. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. I was absent the day teams were made, so I got stuck with <sighs> Neptune. I worked so hard, built a model, included stats, even added sound effects. Presentation day comes. Everyone claps politely, and then the teacher says, Wow, I forgot Neptune was even a planet. Yeah! That moment lives red free in my brain. So, Neptune? I feel you. I see you. I am you. Here's the twist, though. Despite all this, Neptune is kind of awesome. It's got a magnetic field tilted at a weird angle a mysterious internal heat source, and gravity strong enough to mess with objects billions of miles away. Its storms could teach us about planetary weather. Its moons could help us understand orbital mechanics. And it's probably hiding secrets that could rewrite textbooks. In short, Neptune is the sleeping giant of the solar system. It just needs someone to care enough to wake it up. So, let's wrap this up. Neptune is cold. Lonely. Ignored. Surrounded by gas and unstable moons. It's got no solid ground to stand on, literally or emotionally. And it's been ghosted by NASA since 1989. But even with all that, it's beautiful, powerful, unique, and holding it together with grace. Next time you're feeling like the forgotten one, like no one's paying attention, like your orbit doesn't matter, Remember Neptune, mysterious, massive, and patiently waiting for its moment.